On this episode of Create Consumer Feet, I finally answer the most commonly asked question I receive. How do you play videos during your live stream without spending a ton of money? In a previous episode, I reviewed the ATEM Mini Pro and mentioned that the only way to play video on the ATEM was to buy a Blackmagic Design Hyperdeck. Well, that wasn't technically true, since there are various ways to get around this particular issue. One solution would be hooking up a video player to an HDMI port, switching to that port, and then manually hitting play on the device itself. While this is a solution, it means you will have to juggle between multiple user interfaces, which in my opinion is not only clumsy, it's a recipe for live streaming disaster, especially if you're planning to play various video clips throughout your live stream. Now, if you've been watching this channel, you should know by now that I love elegant solutions that can be triggered with one button. And the best way, in my humble opinion, to do just that is to use OBS and the Elgato Stream Deck. So, in order to do this, you will need the following. One, an A10 Mini. Any model will do. Two, a secondary display connected to your PC or Mac. Three, a free copy of OBS. Four, the companion app, which is also free. And five, an Elgato Stream Deck. If you want this to be a, well, one button affair. And before my comment section blows up, yes, I am fully aware that a secondary display and a Stream Deck cost money, but they are nowhere near the $700 price tag of the HyperDeck. In fact, you could get a secondary display and a Stream Deck for under $200 on Amazon. Not to mention the monitor will increase your productivity and the Stream Deck, well, that'll open up a whole world of possibilities. Let's begin by setting up OBS to play a video file by launching the app and creating a new scene and name it Video clip 01. Then slide over to the sources section and select media source. When the window opens up, name it and select a video file from your computer. In my case, I will play my Oculus Quest 2 review, which if you haven't seen, you should check out. Yes, I know that was a shameless plug. Now, before I forget, the video I'm using is 1920 by 1080 and encoded using the H.264 codec. If you plan to use a different codec, I would test it before going live. Once you've located your file, ensure the restart playback when source becomes active is checked and show nothing when playback ends is unchecked if you want to hold on to your last frame. Click OK and then slide over to the audio mixer module and select advanced audio properties. When the window pops up, just select monitor and output. This is extremely important. Then close the window. Now select preferences from the OBS menu in the upper left hand corner. When the preference window opens, select audio and ensure our audio monitoring device is set to BMD HDMI. Now, before we head over to the ATEM software control panel, right click and select Windowed Projector Preview. When the window pops up, right click on that screen and select Full Screen and select BMD HDMI, which should be your secondary display. Once that's all set up, let's head on over to the ATEM software control panel and create a simple macro that cuts to the HDMI input your computer is connected to and turns on the audio channel for that input. In my case, that's HDMI 4, which which I've titled iMac. Once that's done, we will need to assign this macro to a Stream Deck button using Companion. For the purposes of this tutorial, I've assigned our macro to button 13. If you aren't familiar with the Companion app, please check out this video right here before going any further. Now that we have our video file, macro, and Companion button set up, the only thing left to do is create a macro on the Stream Deck. To set up our Stream Deck macro, all you need to do is drag over multi-action from the Stream Deck drawer, name it, then drag over the companion button action from the custom drawer, give it a name, and select the button you assigned in the companion app. For me, that is button 13. Next, we will drag over the scene action from the OBS Studio drawer, give it a name, select your collection from the drop-down list, and select the scene from the drop-down list. 
And there you have it. You can now effortlessly trigger a video during your live stream with the tap of one button. Obviously for each video you want to trigger, you will need to create a new scene in OBS and a new macro in the Stream Deck app. As you can see from my setup, I have created a button for each one of my episodes so I can trigger them at will. Lastly, for those who follow my channel, this tutorial may seem eerily similar to my how to add animation to your ATEM stream. And that's because the process is the same with the only difference being enabling the audio in OBS and not needing a chroma key. If you found this video useful, let me know in the comment section below. Have a burning question you need answering, drop it down below. And as always, smash that like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.